My name is Edinate and this is BTS. Of course, we have another opportunity to witness what goes on on the movie set and we are shooting at East Legon. This is smartest set and the film title is Jezebel. Pascal is directing, he has players, he has Jeffrey Norte. Let's just go see what's happening behind the scenes. I feel very humbled because I'm with my boss. Jesus, I'm with my boss. He's a writer, he's a director, he's a producer, he's a preacher. Boss, how are you doing? Chairman, chairman, chairman. I don't lay down, I don't lay down. Tell me about the mess through. Ian, man, <laughs> soldier. Pascal, I don't know what number you are on in terms of directing. Hey, it's gonna be hard though. Um, there was this thing I saw, I saw uh, a couple of days ago. They said 83. Yes, I mean, it was, it was, on, it was on Google also. But I, I went to, I think I, I saw films that went there, so I think it should be around, maybe around roughly maybe 90, about 90. This is legend. You have directed about 90 movies. Which one is your favorite? We will have to tell. Um, I, I I don't know how to pick a favorite. I think that in every season, maybe your head now is for like your drama genre and then you move again. I, I, I don't know. For, for me, the most, the one that had the most impact in my life personally, most fulfilling, it's not even a big film. It's God is African. And that's not because of my faith sentiments, please, I beg. Not because I want to form like I'm, you know, spiritual. Or no, for me personally, because it's had the most impact on lives of people. And it's not necessarily like, you know, it's not the next cinematic thing you're gonna find it's a very basic story in terms of its technicality so yeah but impact fulfilling and me as a, when i sit back and i feel like I sh I'm, I'm proud doing this it's god is african it's good to catch you up once again how are you doing in terms of the movie industry um a very broad question i don't know whether to lie or say the truth i promise to say nothing but the truth i'm fine I'm trying, yes, I'm trying because, hey, I'm here, I'm on set, and um, I'm playing the main character. Once, it wasn't like that, but today, we get to lead the, the, the film in terms of characters and all that, so. Doreen, how did you learn this role? <laughs> Okay, so I've been working with Smart Youth for some time now, and um, I guess they've, they've come to realize my strength, and they realized I could pull it, so then they, they just decided to give it to me. How do you feel when the industry is kind of accepting you as an upcoming artist? So initially, I, I didn't think it was um, going to be uh, easy to be accepted, but now it, it's amazing. I mean, it's the point where there are people that you only see them on television, not think, you know, but if even with you, you're alleging. You see, see what's happening. Yeah, so it's amazing. It's it's amazing. I didn't think it was going to be this way. Hey, folks. My name is Pascal Mumford. This is BTS behind the scenes on the set of Jezebel, smartest production. Hanging out with amazing people, Jeffrey Nutty, Jessica Williams, Bless Fortune, and Omari. That we are amazing actors. See what happens behind the scene. It's crazy. It's crazy. Show behind the scene. Um, we have this guy here, yes, actor, trying to make him in the industry, can't act. He's here to audition. On <laughs> behind is the madness here, all over. But when you see the movie, it's good. Yeah, this is my guy. Yeah. Baba, yeah, he taught me how to direct. This guy, he gave, gave me my facial directing. Yes, yes. And that's all the way, all the way, all the way from Nigeria. We we'll call him Alaji, all the way from Nigeria. The best filmmaker, I mean, the director of Wedding Party. That's right, right. Director of Wedding Party. Yes. He works, he works with, he works with Moabudu, serious guy. <laughs> what do you think are some of the challenges in this industry that we as people need to come together to solve? One problem that you have identified ever since you started acting, that you think if we, the industry, come together or we are able to solve, it's going to take us a long way. I think we need to be more united. We need, we need, we need to be more united. I mean, it's not everything that you can do. So if you go on set and you realize that this particular job, or when you receive the script, this particular job, I can do it. I mean, if I feel you can do it, why not recommend the other? Let the person also get the opportunity. I mean, there, there has been several occasions whereby I introduce some of my friends to producers and directors. Blessing, what has been your most challenging? Oh, uh, my most challenging role is um, to me. I, I I would say almost everywhere I've played, 
because as an actor, you had you are becoming a character you're not. And for me, I see uh, acting as more spiritual than physical. To me, it's a ministry. I like to take my audience through an emotional journey. Whatever I'm feeling, I want them to feel it. So to me, it's more spiritual for me than just coming on set and just filming. So every role has been challenging. But one particular I'm going to uh, talk about was when I played, um, I think the name is Ayele or so, on Road to My Father's Company. It was the movie that got me the nomination at the AMA Awards. It was it was intense. With Aaron, right? Yes, it was it was intense. It was pretty intense because I needed to learn Ga within three months. I understand Ga. But I know sometimes you had to say certain things, you had to say them well. It was pretty intense. It was very tough for me, but I'm glad when I saw the work. I got some directors come to the movie premiere and one person said something. He said, anytime I see your work, you take it to another level. And to me, that is that is fulfillment for me because as an actor, you're as only good as your last job. So for me, that was everything. Omar, I know a lot of ladies go through some exchange of something before they get cast for a film. Have you been through something like that as an outcome? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Share with me. Oh, and I cannot mention names, however, but it is there. Is it men or women? Both. You don't mean it. I, I, I'm serious. Yes. Both, both, and I could say seven or so. In the industry. You know, and so what was your resistance spirit? What did you say? I didn't go ahead with it. I was tempted with the, with the women, yes, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to say you're playing the main character here because most of the times I have seen you, you played supporting and this time around you're playing the lead. My first question, is that your first lead you play? Mm, no, no. Um, see, after you do the job, you don't even know where the job goes to. Yeah, job there we do. <laughs> we, we, we've got good stuff, good materials, but the platform. So thank God for YouTube. I mean, today, if you want my CV, I can send you a link. But then, Charlie, you be actor. Oh, where I go to watch your jobs? Like, uh, I don't really know where the job is. But that's not my first lead. Even in my own stuff, I've played lead, lead, lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to me. I mean, I put myself on. But it's been, it's been long. It's been long. I actually handled um, a main character. You have contributed enormous to this industry. So far, where do you think we are headed? Hmm. I, it's as painful as it sounds, I just can't, for the first time in a long time, I can't say we're headed here. Um, I think the, the very honest answer will be, I don't know. Um, the way things are looking now, I don't know. We had a joke when you walk, I said, uh, almost an industry. I, I don't know if we still have one. Um, I always say kudos to, I always mention, I don't know if they hear them, I always say to them, you know, kudos to people like, Kobe Rana, kudos, I don't know how that guy's kept on making films. You know, he's always consistent. Every other day, boom, boom, is there. Even on my crew, I'm like, guys, where are you getting this money from? I don't know. That's my scene. How are you feeling for your scene? Oh, I'm, I'm calm. It's day three. So, um, the character, they're stepping the shoes already. So, we deliver. So, send Yeah. Charlie, we did talk. You want to be an actor? <laughs> no, it goes beyond an action. What do you see about pull down syndrome in the industry? People like to pull you down when you're climbing. Just like you said, because Pascal casts you in most films, then they start tagging you, then they start. Why do you think these things happen? If it does happen, has, have you ever encountered something like that before? Yes, I have. Someone looked me in the face and tell, told me, most people will not cast you for a job. But I've not told him this before. I'm sure he'll be here for the first time on your channel. The person told me straight to my face. He said they don't cast you for jobs because you're close to Pascal. And I said, I don't care. And the person was angry because I'm sure the person was expecting to be like, oh, what's the reason? No, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm that kind of person. If you don't know me, open me some of your That's fine. I don't care. I am who I am. We are beginning to have a serious problem, which we did have before, I think in 2013, 14, 15, if not 16, where when you go a movie set, then there's doom so. There's light out and so you get stuck. You don't know what to do. There are characters, they've bought four different locations and nothing goes on. What is your comment on this? Because as I'm here on this set right now, there's light out and you can't work as a filmmaker. Um, first of all, it's not just the movie industry that has been affected by this. I'm sure there are hospitals who are preparing for some surgery or some something and they're also being affected. So we all face it. It's general. And we are facing it. I don't know what you want me to say about this, but we are hoping that the doom so doom so no more. At least we are screaming for a timetable. And I, I read this morning that they said when when they're requesting for a timetable, which means you don't want the the growth of the economy or the country because you, you want to know.
know when the lights will. We deserve it. Give us a timetable so I know how our plan my things. What do you have to tell people who love filmmaking? They want to act. They want to come into the industry. Just one advice for them. Make the film. Come into the industry. It might look difficult. Don't don't take everything I said into you. Know, I mean, we complain there's no industry, but even when we're getting to it, it wasn't that good. But we came in and we made a career. So get into it. Majid always says the only way to to be a filmmaker is to be a filmmaker. <laughs> so get a camera, shoot your film, make a bad film, learn from your mistakes. So get on set, act. There are no auditions now. There are no open readings. But you know, message Adenati, message me, people you know. Try and get into it. PMs and all that. Try and just chase your dreams. Don't let no one tell you you can't do it. Your dreams are valid. It worked for us years ago it will still work for you today so just get on it do what you can you will fall you make mistakes but all i say when you're in it just keep your dignity intact if you know you have the talent you have the gifting that is all you need beyond networking and good pr to sell yourself